Hi ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Exotic, the spokesperson for the Gerald Wayne Interactive Zoological Park in Winniewood, Oklahoma, home of our 187 big cats. I'd like to talk to you, the American people, for just a moment about a law that's being introduced by the animal rights organizations called the Big Cat Safety Act. It has nothing to do with protecting big cats. All it has to do with control of the ownership of big cats and where they're gonna end up, and that is total extinction if this law gets passed. Also, if this law gets passed, you will never interact or touch a big cat, no matter how little it is or how big it is, ever again in your entire life. So the question remains, do you want some animal rights organization in a high-rise office building in Norfolk, Virginia, or a lady down in Tampa, Florida, or Tippy Hedren out there in California that's already made their millions off of exploiting animals and allowing the public to pet them, but do you want them to make it your right not to be able to ever pet one ever again? If so, we need you to vote no and tell your congressmen and your House of Representatives what you think about the Big Cat Safety Act because if they pass this law, you'll never be able to do this again. What was your opinion of being able to interact with the baby tiger? Oh, it was the most amazing thing I've ever experienced, ever. I loved it. Well, you know, they've introduced a, a bill this year called the Big Cat Safety Act, which would actually make this illegal to ever do again. And we want to know what people's opinions are of animal rights organization and lobbyists paying their way to pass bills uh, that affect the way you and your children get to interact in your own lives so uh, w w is that something that you would you would support or would you like to start making your own decisions for you and your kids well i mean isn't this america i would hate that because this is the first time i've been here and i would want to do this like all the time but you wouldn't be able to if that law was passed to be honest if i didn't have the opportunity i did today today was i've always wanted to touch a baby tiger, something with a tiger. I am obsessed with tigers. I love them so much. And to come here today, you know, and be able to interact with them was amazing. I blew me away to be, to be able to do that. You're supposed to have freedom to do what you want. It kind of went to whoever has the most money to pay the politicians and make donations nowadays, it seems like. That, um, if this passes, uh, you will never be able to touch a baby tiger again. It's really sad for the baby tigers and for the people. I mean, this is an amazing experience. Now, one, one question I would like to ask that is, is, in my opinion, probably one of the best educational tools. Do you feel more in your heart after being able to pet this baby tiger about saving the tigers in the wild and saving the environment that they need to live in before you came here or after you leave here? Well, I'm an animal lover, so I'm all for, you know, the rights of the animal. Correct. So, I mean, of course I want them here, so I'm for them to stay here. Yes, definitely. After being able to play with them and you see how, like, loving and cuddly they are, they're not vicious animals, so whenever you're around them, you understand them more. To be honest, I don't understand why they would take that away. Well, it, it, it's a big thing right now to control the tiger population in America. 
if they can get all the tigers out of a bunch of places and only into a few that guarantees them money to have people come see their tigers I so see. that's one reason of the big cat safety act the other reason is is there's a lot of people that just hope to push them into extinction mm -hmm. and that is not fair either um but did you come here with the same compassion that you're leaving here with of course I, I'm in love with it, with tigers, with white tigers. Oh my gosh! And seeing all these beautiful, you know, tigers, and oh my gosh, it has taken my heart. And oh, I love them so much. Do you think <laughs> you left here with more compassion to save the animals in India and Africa than you did before you came here and fell in love with this baby tiger? Absolutely. I mean, they're animals and they're beautiful. I want this experience. Yeah, it made me definitely want to save them and enjoy them more. Only because you actually met one today. Absolutely. Versus never meeting one in your life. Well, yeah, I mean, I'd loved them before, but now I love them a thousand times more. Awesome. It was awesome. Awesome. Dad, I think we started something with your wife here. Now now she's going to want to get a house tiger. She does want one. I, I do. I totally do. <laughs> I was going to take one of, one of your baby ones home with me. Well, you know, part of the thing is, is teaching people to be responsible. I believe that here in America, if you can afford to own an elephant or a baby tiger, and you can afford to take care of that, you should have the right to do that. Absolutely. It's not my place to say you can't because I think you can. I agree 100%. Isn't this America? It is America. <laughs> Thanks for the interview. Thank you. And if hearing it from the American people isn't enough, let's take in perspective. PETA, the Humane Society of the United States, Tippy Hedron, Big Cat Rescue, are the main supporters of this bill, and they alone have raised over $286.5 million in the name of animal care that has mostly all went to lobbyists to take your rights away from you. So let's stop the Big Cat Safety Act, and let's stop it today.